a university in this area will soon close its doors. Founded in 1937, the spring semester of 2023 will be the last for Cardinal Stritch University. CBS 58's Emerson Lehman joins us live on the campus now in Emerson. This decision shared in a video. Yeah, it was Bill Cardinal Stritch President Dr. Dan Scholes addressing the students, the faculty members, other members of the university community this afternoon in a video posted online to YouTube. In that video, he said the decision to close the university was devastating but necessary. I would prefer that I shared good news with you, but my message is profoundly sad. Cardinal Stritch President Dan Scholes shared the troubling news Monday afternoon. The Sisters of St. Francis of Assisi have accepted the recommendation of the university's board of trustees to suspend and cancel all educational services, activities, and programs effective May 22, 2023, and begin the wind down process of the university operations after the current spring semester. Founded in 1937 by the Sisters of St. Francis Assisi, Cardinal Stritch has provided higher education for 85 years. Scholes called it a no-win situation, listing fiscal realities, downward enrollment trends, the COVID-19 pandemic, a need for more resources, and mounting operational and facility challenges as reasons for the closure. In the end, it was determined that we could no longer continue to provide the high-quality educational experiences our students rightly deserve. Now our attention will turn to helping our students, supporting our faculty and staff, and doing the best we can in winding down operations at our beloved university. Now, Scholl says that the university and the class of 2023 will still celebrate commencement. That ceremony will be at the Wisconsin Center on May 21st. Bill? Emerson, I think the question here is what's going to happen to the students who are enrolled at the university but aren't going to be ready to graduate this semester? Yeah, Bill, it's a very good question. Dr. Scholz in the video did address that. He said that the university is currently working with other local colleges and universities so that those students can continue their studies at those universities. And as for students that have not yet enrolled here, they said they're going to work with them to try and help them transition to other schools as well.